So welcome to MLK Online Classes. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about reproduction in fungi. So let us see how the fungus will reproduce and how they will produce spores. So in the previous lecture, before this, I will quick recap your previous lecture. So in the previous lecture, we discussed about classification of fungi. So how the fungi is classified? They are classified depending upon two categories, taxonomical classification and morphological classification. So in taxonomical classification, we have the fungus is placed under the phylum Thalophyta. So and they have four classes. What are, what are the four classes? Zygomycota, Basidomycota, Ascomycota and Deuteromycota. So we discussed the characteristics of these four uh, uh, classes of uh, fungi in the taxonomical classification. Then we discussed about morphological classification. So according to morph morphological classification, fungi are of four types. Yeast, yeast-like fungi, molds and dimorphic fungi. So first one is yeast, it's a unicellular uh, fungus. Then we have yeast-like fungi. In yeast-like fungi we have, they will form pseudohyphase. And we discussed about uh, Moles. In moles, we discussed there are two types of moles: aerial mycelium and vegetative mycelium. So, vegetative myce aerial mycelium will grow above the surface of media, and vegetative mycelium will go below the surface of media. Then we discussed about dimorphic fungi. So, depending upon the temperature, these fungus will show both the morphologies of yeast and mycelial form. So, those include your at a, at body temperature, they will be in yeast form. And at uh, room temperature, they will be in mycelial form. So this is what we discussed in the previous lecture. Now in this lecture, we are going to discuss about reproduction and sporulation in fungi. So how these uh, fungus are reproducing and how they are forming these spores. So spores means they are like gametes. So they will they are like a seeds to the fungus. So let us start by reproduction. So if you see reproduction and sporulation, so this is a classical example. Can you able to see this? Uh, spores generated by this mushroom so these mushrooms will release spores into the air and these spores will get germinated that will form new fungus right so this is uh, called as a uh, spores and this concept this is how they will reproduce so i'm showing you here one life cycle see here this fungi released spores and these spores have may they may have both positive and negative that means males and females and these males and females fuse together and they will form new uh, sporangiospores. So this new sporangia will start uh, growing as a mushroom and they will start once again sporulation. So this is how the fungus will reproduce. So let us see here. So fungus spores are of two types. So they have both the sexual spores and asexual spores. So sexual spores are of four types. So if you see the sexual spores, there are of four types. So what are the four types of sexual spores? They are these four. Oospores, zygospores, basidospores, and ascospores. So sexual spores are of four types. Oospores, zygospores, basidospores, and ascospores. So oospores will have a single ovum-like structure. So they will have a single egg-like structure. So that is why they are called oospores. Okay. Then in zygospores, they will form a zygote. So two hyphae. So both two hyphae. So keep in mind, in sexual reproduction, there will be a participation of both males and females or any two fungus which are positive and negative. So what happens here? So this is one my one my hyphae and this is second my hyphae. So from these two hyphae, we got a, a small uh, growth uh, horizontally and it will form a zygote. In the center of these two hyphae, they will form a zygote. So this kind of reproduction is called zygospores. So this is called zygospore. Then we have basidiospores. In basidiospores, we will have females and male uh, stems on the same hyphae. From the same hyphae, we will get the male sporangium and female sporangium. From this female sporangium, the spores will land on the from the male sporangium, the spores will land onto the female sporangium. So this con this uh, type of uh, reproduction is called as basidiospores. So these kind of spores are called basidiospores. So they will form this basidium like a umbrella like structure a bell like structure okay so these two are originated from the same hyphae then ascospores so in ascospores what happens is two branching filaments will be arranged from the same hyphae and they will they will fuse together to form a spore 
so these kind of spores are called ascospores so these are the four types of sexual spores present in fungus then let us see about asexual spores by the way your sexual spores are germinate uh, reproduced by a process called meiosis so by with the help of meiosis by meiosis cell division your sexual spores will be formed whereas your asexual spores asexual spores will be formed by mitosis asexual spores will be formed by mitosis so what are the asexual spores means there are two types of asexual spores vegetative spores and aerial spores that we will see so asexual spores are of two types vegetative spores and aerial spores so what are these two vegetative and aerial vegetative spores means these are the spores that will present beneath the medium so these spores will be on the or below the medium when they are growing whereas your aerial spores will be on the above the medium so let me show you vegetative vegetative spores here so these are vegetative spores we have blastospores anthospores and chlamydia spores so these spores will be present below the medium okay whereas your aerial spores will present above the medium so let me show you the examples of aerial spores here so these are the aerial spores you have conidia spores porangia spores macro conidia spores and micro conidia spores so these aerial spores will be always on the above they will grow above the medium see here this is a hyphae and they are always in the above the medium in the air so that is why they are called aerial spores so this is a kind of spore conidia spore and this is porangia spore this is micro conidia and macro conidia so aerial spores will be on the above the medium whereas your vegetative spores will be in the below the medium so first let us discuss about vegetative spores in detail so the, there are three types of vegetative spores as we discussed blastospores anthospores and chlamydia spores so let us see what are blastospores so blastospores are formed by budding so like is so these are the blastospores they are the small tough structures so they are they are the blastospores then let us see anthospores so these anthospores will have a cross septa and this cross septa will be degenerated to form small anthrills so a small rectangular shaped structures with a thick wall with a thick wall they will form as a rectangular structures from the cross septums so these are arthrospores so arthrospores are formed by production of cross septa into hyphae resulting in rectangular thick wall spores so this is how your arthrospores looks like okay then let us see chlamydia spores so these chlamydia spores will be originated from the thickening of the hyphae uh, and they will form a small uh, ring like uh, spherical like uh, structures called chlamydia spores so these are the thick walled resting spores developed by rounding up and thickening of hyphal segments okay by thickening and rounding up of your hyphal segments they will form chlamydia spores so these are the examples of uh, vegetative spores then let us see aerial spores so in aerial spores first we have conidia spores right so conidia spores means conidia means hair in greek so conidia means hair so if you see here it it looks like a head and it has hair like structure a hair like thing about the uh, spore so these are called conidia spores okay and uh, this how, how this conidia spore form means this is a hyphae from hyphae you will get a conidia four from conidia four you will get your conidia spores so these conidia spores are connected to the conidia four by a small rod like structures they are called sterigmatas so they are connected to the uh, head by sterigmata to the sterigmata we will have the conidia spores so spores born externally on sides of the tip of hyphae are called conidia spores or so simply they are called as conidia so this is your conidia spores then let us discuss about micro conidia and my macro conidia so micro conidia means when a single conidia has a small and single means they are called micro conidia so if it this is the hyphae and they have only one small spore so these kind of small spores are called micro conidia then in macro conidia they will be in larger size the same micro conidia will be in a very big shape so these are macro conidia so these are large and septate conidia often multicellular so these are very large and they have septums also these macro conidia contain septums too and they are connected to the hyphae so these are macro conidia and this is micro conidia and last and final is your sporangia spores 
So what are these sporangiospores? So sporangiospores will have a sporangium. Sporangium means a ball-like structure. So within this ball, you, the spores are present within this ball. So that is why they are called sporangiospores. So they develop at the ends and they have sporangiophores. So the best example is mucor and rhizophores is the examples for sporangiospores. These are the spores formed within the sporangium. So they develop on the they, they develop on the end of the hyphae. So in the end of the hyphae, they will develop and they are called as sporangiospores. So these are the types of spores that are present in fungus. So in the next lecture, we can discuss about laboratory diagnosis of fungus. Okay. So medically important fungus. So let me re revise everything. In this lecture, we discussed about reproduction and spore relation. So in reproduction and spore relation, we have uh, the fungus will reproduce either by sexually or asexually. Sexually by meiosis, my meiotic, meiotic cell division, and asexually by mitotic cell division. So first, let us see sexual spores. So sexual spores are of uh, four types. What are those? Oospores, zygospores, basidiospores, and ascospores. So oospores are a single ohm-like structure. Zygospores will form a zygote-like thing from two uh, hyphal segments. And in basidiospore, both male and female will be on the, in the same hyphae on the different location so that the male spores will land on the female spores. These are called basidiospores. And you have your ascospores. In ascospores, a single uh, hyphae will develop two male and female branches and they will fused together to form a spore. So this kind of spores are called ascospores. Then you have your vegetative spores, uh, asexual spores. In asexual spores, we have two types, vegetative spores and aerial spores. So vegetative spores are the spores that are present in the below the medium, whereas your aerial spores present on the above the medium. So above the medium. So vegetative spores include your blastospores, anthrospores, and chlamydia spores. Aerial spores include your Conidia four, sporangiospores, microconidia, and macroconidia. So let us see vegetative spores in detail. So in vegetative spores, as I said, we have blastospores, anthrospores, and chlamydia spores. So blastospores. So these are the budding parent cell, which are which are yeasts. So these are blastospores and anthrospores. These are formed by production of cross septa into hyphae, resulting in rectangular thick-walled spores. So these are anthrospores. And your chlamydia spores. So these are the rounding up of the hyphae with thick wall are called chlamydia spores, right? Then we have aerial spores. In aerial spores, we have conidia spores, microconidia, macroconidia, and sporangia spores. So conidia spores means they are hair-like structures present from the originator from the conidia spore, and they are connected to the head by a rod-like structures called sterigmata. So this is your conidia spore. And if the conidia, if the if the spore is a single spore attached to a hyphae means they are called microconidia. If the same spore is very large with cross septums and multicellular means they are called macroconidia. And if these spores are present within a ball-like structure means these are called sporangiospores. So that is all about your reproduction and spores in fungus. In the next lecture, we will see about laboratory diagnosis. Okay, thank you, students.